Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. Look at this. We did it. 2017 TriStar Autograph Baseball New York Dynasty Edition. 12 boxes. Everyone's guaranteed an autograph baseball. It'll just be a random one. I don't know what it's going to be. So, big thanks to these folks for getting in on the action. Really appreciate that. So, we'll randomize your names and randomize the numbers. So, I'm going to open up this case right here and number all the, all the uh, boxes, the baseball boxes. And we'll go from there. So what we're going to do is, there you go, case 90 out of 100. They only made 100 of these. I dropped the checklist into the chat. Now, every case should have one 24-karat gold baseball, six players who debuted pre-1990, and five players who debuted 1990 to the present. So you can, we can go far as far back as like Don Larson, Yogi Berra. Uh, and as recently as like Gary Sanchez. So this should be pretty interesting. And the big, uh, the big product case hit, I believe there's only one Thurman Munson baseball in there in this entire product release, all 100 cases. All right, you know what? Let's actually take these out first. Good luck, everybody. Should be a really fun one. TriStar always does a good job with these sorts of products. All right, so let's just take a look at the box really quick. So here's what we're expecting right there. There's the uh, Grand Treasure, randomly inserted 24 karat gold leather autographed baseballs. You can get, uh, you can uncover uh, Dynasty Treasure tickets, which could be full-size autographed uh, Alex Rodriguez jerseys. Uh, I think 16 by 20 Derek Jeter autographed photos. A lot of cool stuff in there. All right, so one, two, three. Oh yeah, so there, there are the potential full-size jerseys you can get. That's like a cut auto signed check of Joe DiMaggio right there. Four, five. Six. Seven, So you can see one, you can see the numbers across on there too. All right, <clears throat> now time to randomize. So let's go back to random.org. We're gonna randomize names, then we'll randomize the boxes, then we'll put them in the spreadsheet and we'll go from there. Okay. Three and a three, six times for both lists. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we got John Parker on top, TJ in the number 12 spot. Thank God we didn't do a draft, right? <laughs> and, although I would have randomized these numbers too. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. There we go, eight down to 10. So we'll actually do these in numerical order as opposed to some other breaks. All right, so John Parker, box eight. Owen, box 11. Jeremy, 33, seven. Ken with one, Michael G, three. Nick K, four. Michael Van Wy, 12. Uh, Ryan with nine, David Kist, six, Jeff Dorlak, two, Ed with your last Bob Mojo, five, and TJ with 10. So we're going to do these in numerical order. So we'll sort by column B. All right, so Ken, you'll be going first with autograph baseball number one. All right. Good luck, Ken. 
So there's baseball number one. Good luck. Uh, no, no, no trades in these random number breaks. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Do they have the card here? No. So here, here's the pouches. Nice drawstring pouch. Where's the card? Oh yeah, they, they usually have. They usually do. Usually nice enough to include a card right here. All right. So this Yankee, get you can guess everybody. We don't have another break filled up, so we can take time doing this. He was two thousand. He was a two thousand five comeback player of the year. He made his debut in 2002. So at 2005, he had to be a comeback player. Uh, Two-time Silver Slugger Award winner. 2000 Hutch Award winner. Five-time All-Star. First baseman. And he was the 2000 AL MVP. Any guesses? I know there's a little bit of a lag, so I'll wait a little bit. So made his Yankee debut in 2002. And is a... All-star first baseman, five-time All-star overall, 2000 AL MVP, two-time Silver Slugger Award winner, and 2005 Comeback Player of the Year. Uh, Rick Hunt, got it. Jason Giambi, nice. There it is. So you got the uh, the sticker right here. Ten out of thirty-six. And there's Giambi's autograph. Nice. John Okray said Chuck Knobloch. <laughs> no, no, we're saving that one for Nick K. We're saving the Chuck Knobloch for Nick K. All right, nice. So that goes to Ken. All right. Next one up, Jeff Dorlag with number two. Going in alphabetical order, there's two. All right, so for Jeff Dorlag, let's see who we got here. Sorry. Some of you might have seen it. Uh, 1957 uh, ERA leader, eight-time gold glove winner, three-time all-star, 1952 TSN pitcher of the year, 1952 AL MVP. Wow. Made his uh, debut in 1957. Or his Yankee debut in 1957. I was like, how could he win the AL MVP in 52? but then make his, his Yankee debut in 1957. Obviously, he did stuff before that. Well, he joined the Yankees, and he won the ERA title. This kind of... Any, any guesses on this one? You kind of saw the names. You, some of you might, might have a guess there. I'll show you guys the autograph while people are guessing. Wow, and it's a 24-karat gold ball. Wow. Bobby Shantz. That's right, Nick K. And it's the twenty it's the one per case, twenty-four karat gold ball. And that's two out of six. Wow, nice one, Jeff Dorlack. There you go. Nice. Nice inscription in there too. Nice work, Jeff Dorlack. Excellent. Next up is Michael G with ball three. Michael G with ball three.
All right. This person, this player, made his Yankees debut in 1974. He was the 1971 AL Rookie of the Year, a 1976 All-Star, a 1978 Gold Glove Award winner, a two-time World Series champ. One of those was probably against the Dodgers. Uh, on October 14th, 1976, this player hit one of the most memorable home runs in baseball history with his ninth inning walk-off home run to win the ALCS. During that series, he tied or set five ALCS records for hits and RBI. So this is for Michael G. So great player there. There's the uh, 25 out of 36. There's the other one right there. Not Reggie Jackson. Chris Chamblis. I don't know if those look like C's right there, but there it is. That's how he's doing it. So that goes to uh, Michael G. Just hit, hitting them walk-offs. Uh, yeah, David Kist. You know what? In fact, I'll use post-it notes instead. I know some of you guys might want to resell these. I apologize to Jeff Dorlack and Ken. All right, nice one. Okay, next is Nick K. Now, Nick K. Nick K. has box four. He he wanted Chuck Knobloch, so I hope we can deliver that for you, Nick K. Come on, Chuck Knobloch. All right. So, um, oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Now, played alongside his son in the outfield with the Baltimore Orioles, making the duo only the second father-son team to play on the same team at the same time. A 1986 Silver Slugger Award and NL Batting Champ, a seven-time All-Star and 1987 All-Star MVP, and a two-time World Series Champ a four-time stolen base leader, and number five in all-time stolen bases. That should kind of start giving it away. Over 1,500 career hits in 23 baseball major league seasons. His New York Yankee debut was 1996. So uh, definitely not Chuck Knobloch. <laughs> There's a tri-star number there. 13 out of 3. Ripken, says Owen. Close. There you go. Tim Raines. Tim Raines. There you go. I, th I thought the stolen bases one uh, stat would have given it away. He stole a lot of bases. All right. Next one up is Ed Aarons, who I believe is a Yankees Ed, you're a Yankees fan, right? I think I believe Ed is a, is a Yankees fan. So with Last Spot Mojo, box five. All right. 
This is a two-time American League saves champion, 1977 AL Cy Young Award winner, a two-time World Series champion, a three-time All-Star. Made his Yankees debut in 1972. And he's the author of the novel, The Bronx Zoo. I did not know that he was a writer. Bronx Zoo. There's the TriStar authentication number. Or Grace says Sparky Lyles. 5 out of 24. It is. There you go. Even inscribing it, Bronx Zoo. Nice. So there you go, Ed. A lot of people guessing Goose. All right. Thanks, Ed. All right. David Kist. Of course, Cody. Come on. I know how to do this. David Kist, box six. All right. David Kist. A no hitter in May 14th, 1996. 1986 World Series champion. Two time league leader in strikeouts. 1985 pitching triple crown. 1985 NL Cy Young Award winner. You guys should be able to get this now. Four-time All-Star and 1984 NL Rookie of the Year. Come on, David Cohn? That's what TJ and Nick K said. David Cohn did not win the pitching triple crown in 85. Made his Yankee debut in 96. Last, last hint, nicknamed Doc. Nick, Nick J got it. Nick Jaspi in the room. Dwight Gooden for David Kist. No, not Al Leiter. Uh, Ed Aaron's got it too. And Booney, Doc Gooden. There's the number. 9 out of 36. And there he is. All right, nice one, David Kist. All right, next one. Jeremy thirty three wanted that wanted that Doc Gooden. Well, we'll see what we have for you in box seven. So here's box seven, all the way over here. Good luck, Jeremy. Nick Jaspi, if you're still listening, we should try to get more of these. I know they only made 100 cases, but it'd be, it'd be cool to get more. All right, here we go. Ready? Next one. Uh, wow, I did not know this. Along with Rob Nelson, he created Big League Chew, Bubblegum. Author of Ball 4 and Foul Ball. Uh, a 20-game winner in 1963. Played in two... World Series, 63 and 64. And in 1963, he was an all-star. Made his Yankee debut in 1962. 
Yeah, this this player, along with Rob Nelson, created Big League Chew Bubblegum. This is that's that's pretty cool, and a twenty game winner. You don't win twenty games all the time, even in, even in the sixties. Ed Aaron's got it. Jim Booten. Nice. So that's for Jeremy33, the maker of Big League Chew. There it is. Oh, inscribing his, his book there. I would have wanted to uh, sub inscribe Big League Chew on there. 23 out of 36. A businessman. All right, next person up would be John Parker with ball number eight. All right, good luck, John Parker. All right, made his Yankee debut in 1975. People should know this. People should know this guy, I think. Two two time World Series champ, seven time top 10 in strikeouts, five time gold glove winner, two time league leader in wins, 1978 Cy Young, four time All Star, three time 20 game winner, 1986 to 88 team captain. His number 49 jersey retired by the Yankees in 2003 and nicknamed the Louisiana Lightning. Yeah, Ed's an old school guy, Cody West. I, I believe him on that. People should know. I, I have a feeling people should know this. There you go. TJ and Ed got it. Ron Goodry. Nice. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of accolades. So John Parker. There you go. There's a number there. And 22 out of 36. There you go. Ron Goodry. Was he a former Tulsa driller, TJ? Nice. Oh, we already pulled that Jason Giambi in okay. Who's actually in this checklist? A lot of people. Nick, what did Nick K get? Nick K got Chuck Knobloch. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is right here. Oh, I don't know. All right. Oh, and leave the joke. Leave the jokes to me. My mild, mildly funny jokes to me. Uh, Nick Jaspi saying, Goodry's 18 strikeout performance is usually cited as a launching pad of the Yankee Stadium tradition of stand standing and clapping for a strikeout with two strikes on the opposing batter. Oh. Jeff, Dorlock, uh, Jeff Dorlock says, should be in the hall. I feel like he should be. I always, I always thought that Goodry was... We'll have, to, we'll have to look up some of his numbers afterwards and see why he's missing out. Uh, Shogun, Ryan, you've got ball nine. Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Nick K's like don't joke about Chuck Knob Chuck Knobloch along with Steve Sachs I believe had had a case of the yips right all right next one all right ladies and gentlemen 1986 home run derby co-winner 1988 NL home run champion, a two-time Silver Slugger Award winner. He's a four-time World Series champ? Stop, that's not true. He doesn't have four rings, does he? 
Anyway, 1983, this might give it away, 1983 NL Rookie of the Year, eight-time All-Star, made his Yankees debut in 95. Really? Oh, with the... Right, okay. I didn't realize, I guess, I, yeah. He won three of those championships with the Yankees. Any guesses? Nick Case says Jason Giambi. Well, I thought we already pulled Jason Giambi. There won't be two Jason Giambis. Any other guesses? I think TJ, TJ's got it. <laughs> Danny Tarvold. <laughs> nice, Rick Hunt. No, it's Daryl Strawberry. The straw man. TJ got it. Jeff Dorlak, too. So there's the TriStar authentication number. It's 5 out of 36. And there is nice autograph from the straw man. There you go. So there you go. Yeah, that, I know, Booney, he got me too with that Danny Tarvel. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't thought about that name in like years. All right. Nice one, Shogun. All right, three left. Uh, no, and none in the Doc Gooden one either, Tim, which was, was kind of disappointing. All right. Uh, TJ. TJ's been patiently waiting for this break right there. TJ with... Ball 10. Uh, we did find a checklist, if that's what you guys are asking about. It's on the TriStar website. I think the sad thing is, is that Doc Gooden is still struggling with, with that. Although Strawberry has, has kicked the habits. All right. Good luck, TJ. All right, for TJ. This is a good one. I don't know where to start without giving away instantly. Okay, 12-time All-Star, consecutive years, a two-time Gold Glove winner, eight-time Silver Slugger, five-time AL Batting Champion, nine-time Top 10 in Hits, a lifetime 328 average. Part of the 3000 Hit Club, a 1996 World Series champ, made his Yankees debut in 93. And Hall of Fame in 2005. Hall of Fame in 2005. Not Roger Clemens. TJ's got it. He's got his, he guessed his own ball. Wade Boggs. Nice, Boggsy. Old Boggsy. Four out of 36. And there it is. Nice. There you go. Nice Wade Boggs. Yeah, I think... Uh, Ed Aaron's uh, got the Wade box as well. I know there's a little bit of a delay, so it's hard to tell who actually who, who got those in. But I think TJ responded quickly enough. Nice one, Teach. All right. I should it should have his beer stat on there too, Nick Jasperson. But you know, if if Nick, if we work for TriStar, if we ever work for TriStar, we got to do the we got to do the copy. We got to write the copy for those cards because I'm sure we we can have a little fun with that. All right. Oh, sorry. Next one is Owen. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, Owen is desperate for you to buy Strata. So go do that. Owen, you have box 11. Good luck, man. And that was a great It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode. The Wade Boggs episode is is amazing. 
Rick Hunt pre-guessing Steve Sachs. I actually don't know if Aaron Judge is on this checklist. All right. He's a three-time World Series champ. Three-time, well, he, this is pretty good. Three-time World Series champ. Played in six World Series. Three-time All-Star, a 1957 AL Rookie of the Year. Made his Yankee debut in 1957. Three-time World Series champ of the Yankees, 1958. 1961-1962. After his retirement, became one of the most successful television announcers. Any guesses? Some of the old school Yankees crew right here may, may, may get this one. There's the uh, Steiner sticker there. And the TriStar sticker, 19 out of 24. There it is. Tony Kubek. Nice. There you go. Owen. The announcer part should have, give, should have uh, given away, I think. I wrote Tony Kubek on the post-it note. So there you go, Owen, thank you. Yeah, Nick didn't get that. Nick, did you really get Kubek? Cody West is like, get off the Wikipedia. All right, and the last one is for Michael Van Wy with ball number 12. Good luck, Mike. Here we go. Last one. This is great. Nick Jaspi. Let's try to get some more of these, huh? Can we order some more? I know they only made 100K. They may be sold out of this already. All right, the last one. All right, here we go. This is a good one. 14-time All-Star. 1973 AL MVP. That was the year after Jeff Burroughs, I think, or the year before. 1973 Sporting News Player of the Year. 1977 Babe Ruth Award winner. Made his Yankee debut in 1977. Two-time World Series MVP. 1973 World Series MVP and 1977 World Series MVP. He is part of the 500 Home Run Club. And he made the Hall of Fame in 1993. I think Cody West has got it. Let me see if there's any other guesses. Nick says Brian Doyle. There's the TriStar logo right there. Not Dave Rigetti. 7 out of 24. Reggie Jackson. Nice. Nice way to end it with a Hall of Famer. That goes to Michael Van Wy. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was... TriStar Hidden Treasures, New York Dynasty, Autograph Baseballs. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's more baseball, football, basketball on the site. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.